I'm reminded that it's covered with His grace I am encouraged I am not in bondage for His word is in me I can declare and believe that I am so free I am encouraged by His word is free So be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged So hi everyone, today my topic will be on endurance we'll be speaking on humility and also patience before i go any further today i will be praying and then we go straight into the word blessing of the lord so today father i exalt your name i give you thanks for being the god of our life for being the god that has kept us for being the god who has saved us for being the god that is working on our behalf i give you thanks god for your love your joy your peace oh god that you have given us each day i thank you father for the gift of life i thank you lord that you are our defender that you are the god that is able to keep our soul oh god you are the god that is able to keep us from falling mighty god i give you thanks that in you oh god all things are made perfect i give you thanks mighty god that you are lord almighty god of our life the lord of our mind the lord over our desires i give you thanks almighty god for all what you have done for us and what you are still about to do and even now mighty god as we are going into your word i pray that each and every person will be blessed almighty god by this word i pray mighty god that their hearts will be touched that each and every one of us oh god that hear this word will be transformed almighty god in our mind in our heart in our soul almighty god teach us to accept you and to acknowledge you in all things at this very moment almighty god have your way oh god in our life have your way with us almighty god have your way within us even now in jesus name i pray amen and amen so again guys wow my head mother but yes again guys hi and i will be speaking on temptation humility patience and we know that when we speak about these words there um is one scripture that normally comes to me and it is taken from james one yes there are other scriptures that we could read but today there's something specific that i want to want to zoom in on our focus on so uh, let's get right into it so james 1 james 1 verse 2 it says my brethren count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience but let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect and and entire wanting nothing and then he continues and he says if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of god that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him bless the lord he said but let him ask in faith nothing wavering for the wavereth for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Then it says a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Bless the Lord. Then it continues in verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Verse 14, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. Now, when we talk about temptation normally people think of struggle some person think of uh, 
um, making the wrong decision or being tempted to do something that's wrong. But before I go into that, I want us to focus on humility. Humility, being humble before God. Like right throughout the word, we see where God implores us to be humble. He he, he implores us to come before him humble. Bless the name of the Lord. And uh, when we look at the word humility, we get to understand that it is putting ourselves at a place of being less important and placing something above you. I you know that anything that you place above you, anything that you adore more than yourself, that will of course be your idol. So if you place your yourself first in everything and adore yourself then you will be placing yourself as an idol no the bible declares that we should have no other idols we should have nothing we should glorify nothing else over him bless the name of the lord so when we are when we are placing ourselves at second or when we're placing ourselves at a less important level, we should be careful of what, what we idolize. Now, there are persons that say we can't live without this person. There are some persons that say that they can't live without stealing. There are some persons that say that they can't live without doing this, without doing certain things. And more than... And, a lot of time, these things that we idolize will allow us to go in an opposite direction than what the Lord desires us to walk in. Now, today, I wanted to realize that if you do not humble yourself before God, if you do not humble yourself, if you don't put yourself at a less important, I'm not saying that you can't have pride in yourself and fix up yourself and all these things but that's not the point today what i'm trying to let you understand is that god is supposed to be placed at the forefront of your life so no matter what is happening in your life the first re the first solution the first person that you will go to the first deity that you will go to will be god because you have placed him as priority in your life now we see that from the very beginning what the enemy does is places different desires within us and those desires are so strong that eventually we can't live without doing them right basically humbling yourself is placing God at the forefront of your life and placing yourself at a less important level so that you are able to adore the Lord in all your ways. No pride as the Bible declares that pride cometh before destruction and a hearty and a hearty heart before a fall. So we get to understand that wherever there is pride death follows and wherever there is humility there is an upliftment from the Lord and we know that the only upliftment we want to feel is the upliftment of the Lord because if we are uplift in the desires of self will if we are uplift in the desires of our flesh then we know that at the end of the day you will be accepting well you will be accepting death because the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life so if you accept undoing or in doing the desires of self-will the desires of flesh then you will accept death that means you are putting yourself over god and that is a sign of you having pride right so i am glad that i am getting pride out of the way and humility so that you can know where i am getting with as it relates to endurance now it says in the word that patience 
He said, count it all joy when he fall in to diverse temptation. As I said before, that temptation is the desire to do something wrong. Temptation is something that the enemy, is a desire that the enemy places within you uh, that is so powerful that you would give in to it if you don't have the strength of God. Now, in our flesh, we have a tendency to fail. We have a tendency to faint. We have a tendency as human to get tired sometimes, right? But uh, we get to understand that we should count it all joy when we face these temptations because when our flesh become weak, we will want to seek um, help or strength of other persons. And we know that the only strength that is never ending, there is a strength that is like no other. And this strength is found in God. We know that as um, I think 2 Corinthians, I think it's 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, um, when Paul was going through um, that thorn, this, um, when Paul had that thorn in his flesh and he was so... And he was tormented by it over and over. God answered him and said, My grace is made sufficient for thee. Thy grace, my grace, is made sufficient to keep thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. So in our weakness, in what we call a thorn in our flesh, in what we call th um, in what we call temptations and diverse temptation, we should count it all joy because we get to understand that we do not have time to depend on self will to depend on the pride of our flesh but instead we will humble ourselves before God acknowledging him in all our ways so that he is able to be our optimum strength this morning bless the name of the Lord then the Bible the Bible declares knowing this that trying of your faith worketh patience. Now, what is patience? I'm going to look for that for you guys. So, patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate a delay. Bless the Lord. It said, delay problems or suffering without becoming annoyed or anxious. No, patience is perfect. Patience is perfect. Why do I say this? Because the Bible declares that we aren't supposed to be anxious. We are not to be anxious. But in all things, we should pray and seek the Lord. Bless God. And when we are seeking the Lord continuously, there is no place for fear doubt, limitation, or anxiousness, or worry, or annoyance, because you are seeking the Lord and placing Him first in your temptation, in your time of suffering, in your time of problem. What the enemy does is that when he places us in a situation, he tries to let the problem over he tries to let the problem become so unbearable that we become anxious, that we begin to worry, that we begin to faint and all these things. But God is reminding us today that we should count it all joy when we face these temptations because we are able to not depend on the pride of our flesh, but we are able to depend on God. We are able to depend on solely the word of God to bring us through anything that we are going through in each phase of our life bless the lord because as i said that patience is a capacity to accept or tolerate delay delays or problems and sufferings without becoming annoyed and anxious so the bible continues and says that the trying of our faith worketh patience worketh patience but let patience have a perfect work because when we are having patience when we're going through these stages of life and we are depending solely on God to bring us through we get to understand that his work 
that his strength will be perfected within us that his word will be perfected within us i don't know if there's a time in your life when you ever go through a certain a certain problem a certain season of distress of problems of suffering and in that time you realize that god is building your character for something else that is a time you realize that you you don't depend on other persons on the harms of man but instead you begun to become so dependent on god till there is just peace around you till the word of god becomes so clearer to you today i'm here to let you know that count it joy in your temptation because patience will have its perfect work in you today no we do not want to be double minded as people we don't want to say okay today we are going to give the flesh a chance and tomorrow we will walk in the spirit totally we we don't want to be double minded we don't want to be fighting if we should yield to the temptation or not we want to be totally dep- dependent on the strength of god till we don't have time to yield to the temptation that is coming up against us bless the name of the lord so he said blessed is the man that that endureth temptation because when you endure that mean you remain in existence that mean you are living on that mean you are going on that mean you are lasting through the temptation that you are facing you are lasting through the the problems that you face you are lasting through the suffering that you are going through you are living on and today i want you to declare clear over yourself that i am living that i will live because when you are living you know that you shall not you will not fall short of you know that you will not fall short in the glory of god of the glory of god you know that you will not fall short in this time because you are enduring it it is all good it is all joy when you endure temptation today because the patience will be perfected within you today it continues and says for he is tried for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the lord which the lord hath promised to them that love him bless the name of the lord bless the name of the lord so today when you are in your temptation today when you are going through your problems today when you are going through whatever you are going through humble yourself before the lord in other words place yourself at a less important level and place the lord at the forefront of your life so in all your ways you are able to acknowledge the lord and when you be begin to acknowledge the lord in all your ways count it all joy that you are going through this uh, temptation because because the testing of your faith worketh patience and then patience will be perfected within you and we know that when you endure all these things then you shall receive the crown of life you shall receive the crown of life but remember in all your ways acknowledge him remember to humble yourself the time when you have pride is when you are placing your fleshly desires in way is when you are placing your self will over the work of god over the word of god so today guys be encouraged be enlightened by the word of god today and be blessed i love you all